So this Darbo one, two years after this, is going on. We're having a war of words. I'm, f- I'm saying to Darbo, you shit, you fucking crap. <laughs> you don't, you can't even get a game. You fucking crap. You know that. That's the and he's blah, 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 in French and all that. And as you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fluent in French now. <laughs> <laughs> but awareness at the time. Awareness at the time. <laughs> so he's fucking giving me down the banks in French. So we're walking off, the training session's finished. Do you know what I mean? We're walking off, he's fucking giving it to me in French and I'm just going, I just keep saying, you're shite, you're fucking crap. Which to a footballer, if you're not playing in the first team and someone who is playing saying that's here, that's the worst insult you can get. I'm going like, you know, heavy on the, your shit a footy, you're fucking crap. And he just lost his head. So we're walking off and the verbals are going and from nowhere, he's flipped over. So he turned round and he sprinted towards me. So I'm thinking, I'm getting a crack here. Because the way he run at me, I knew he weren't coming for a fucking f- to tickle me. So he's, he's turned and ran 15 yards across the train of pitch. Bear in mind, he's ahead of me, so he's turned and ran backwards towards me. He gets a bar fucking within range, two, two foot away from me, three foot away from me. So I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? And his arm comes back. As soon as his arm comes back, I don't know what's happened after that. You know, your natural instinct kicks in, this fight or flight, and my instinct is to fight. Um... And my natural instinct kicks in there and I disarm him relatively quickly. Um, but unbeknown to me, I've knocked him out. So he's out on his feet, the first punch. He, he's gone like that. He says to slap me. But as that's, you know, you, you don't wait to hang around where I'm from. And I've the first jab I've hit him with is right on the money. And it stunned him. The second one I've hit him with is put him, put him away. So he's on the floor, naturally, as, as a scrap entails. I, I'm down with him. And I ain't coming off yet until Some the referee up. stops the contest. You know, you know, what am I going? Oh, you're all right now. Get up and you fucking kick fuck out of me. Like you can't take them chances. So within a few seconds, it's over. Bang, bang, bang. And um, obviously, Usman's had the shock of his life because he's bigger, bigger than me. Um, and he thought he was uh, capable of um, imparting his belief system on me. And obviously, he's had a, a reality check. And you know, for me, that was the end of the matter. You know, we finished saying and we go in. Um, after he's been woken up and um, told what's gone on, you know, I went in and said, look, do you want round two here? I'll, 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 I'll hang round. If you, we'll get on the Astro turf again if you want to sort this out. Um, he didn't want any part of that. I'm sent home then. No problem. Shouldn't be having a fight with your teammates. Um, and then next minute, he's gone to papers the next day with a fucking big piece of sticky tape on his finger. His beard to take a picture of him. The fucking, you know, and, and then, you know, uh, it, it, you have to defend yourself against that there but but again I, I said to him loads of times like I, I I was 23 at the time I'm 41 now like you know if someone had filled me in and he went and said to the police and that I did them from behind and that which was fucking lies absolute lies you know, why were they allowed to go to the coppers that it both of them <sighs> and other teams listen there's always scraps we've had scraps and seen exactly lots in James, and yeah, the pitch yeah, and it's done that, shake yeah. hands sorry cuddle that's it but why was those guys allowed to go to the papers I don't know because it was you so, maybe so, someone goes to the papers or the authorities where i'm from you're a, you're yeah, a snitch like, you get them off the team like as well so, yeah you know for me it says more about him than me if he'd have filled me in i wouldn't have gone to the papers i wouldn't have gone to the busies if he'd have filled me in and i felt it was unjust i'd have, I'd have, got, I'd have done a bit of training and i'd have come back and gone come on you bollocks round two me and you for a straight yeah, that's how it's sorted by yeah, us yeah, yeah. If, if someone says something about you or or call, you know you're not on come on you know no weapons which is the way it should be. Yeah. No weapons. Get yourself in the, in, in the car park. Get yourself in the back garden. Get yourself on the bowling green, where, wherever it is. And, you know, sort, sort your differences out. I grew up in that world. My dad taught me. My dad was, that's how my dad solved his problems. That's how his, his dad solved his problems. That's how my granddad solved their pro- problems. And then all of a sudden, I'm the first generation. That's like, no, no, there's a, you know, you have to solve your problems in a different a different way. Was that the final um, nail in the coffin, though, City? I, that was for me, though. I decided to leave. So City suspended me um, and then just the, the way they supported Darbo, who for me, I'd done nothing for the football team. Um, and I thought, I just didn't li- like the way uh, they behaved in, in the aftermath of that event. And I thought, no, that, that's me done. I'm, I'm, you know, I don't owe you anything. You give me a chance. I, I think I've paid you back with four or five years as a senior. You're going to command a... a, 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 a a decent transfer fee for me. You know, I had a clause in my contract for five and a half million that I'd negotiated two years before. So I knew they were going to get, you know, that clause activated. I'd already rejected Everton, West Ham, overtures of other teams, you know, in, in the two or three years before that. 
Um, and I just thought, you know, no, I'm, I'm not going to stay on. And, you know, at that point, John Ward, the was phoning me, asking me to stay on. I just felt, thought, you know, I needed to get away from Liverpool and North West. Just felt it was a time for the change of scenery. And obviously Freddie Shepard and Newcastle United, um, you know, as well as Everton and West Ham, who were taken over, I think, by the Icelandic banks at the time, um, were, were all in the in the market for me. And I, and I thought, you know, you know, Newcastle at the time were Michael Owen, you know, you know, trying to get in the Champions League, you know, some some big names. And you know, I just thought, yeah, well, you know, I'm going to try something uh, different and, and end up signing for Newcastle. 